How about Dana saying, he's black, he's allowed to say that? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Too fucking Who? Bad. I didn't see this one. Oh, people oh. upset. Oh, of course. Oh, fucking of course. Yeah, it's fighting. They can say whatever the fuck they want. Just the fight business. Yeah. Okay? Eat shit. Please. <laughs> Next question. So good. <laughs> he's a maniac, bro. He, I know. He is. He, those moments where he's sitting at a desk and he has a microphone, he lives for it. Oh, yeah. I Love mean, it. he is absolutely ready to go at all times. There was a moment, uh, UFC 290, that ended International Fight Week this past Saturday in Vegas. Stars were at. Oh, yeah, they were. were. Stars were at. <laughs> mm -hmm. The humans that were there uh -huh. was certainly a spectacle on the internet and everywhere else. But Israel Adesanya, uh, Izzy, uh, went into the ring, into the cage, to confront a South African man yeah. who is a UFC fighting champion named... Rickus Duplessis. Yeah, and there was a conversation about, you know, um, Africa, you know. Yeah. Because South Africa, I do believe there's parts of potentially, yep. you know, a little, di <laughs> a little different. So that happened. Yep. And then obviously Dana gets asked about it. And they're like, the racial undertones and Dana goes... Did I miss something? What are you talking yeah. about? What happened? <laughs> what am I? What? And then the, the writer who asked the question was like, well, there was certainly some. Yeah, Israel said the N-word several times. He's black. Who, who fucking cares? Who fucking... What you... <laughs> John Rogan said it. I mean, yeah. Because you're out there Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dana... The position... Well, he had he... a slap. Didn't he have a slap deal at the very end of weigh-ins where dude got knocked out cold? I didn't see that. See that? I didn't see that either. That was, it, they concluded their weigh-ins was, I know they were hyping it up, was like a, a these two 400-pounders, I think, doing a slap deal. Bro, Dana is a beauty. Yeah. yeah. The best. The American success story that he is, oh. with how he has refused to change at all, seemingly. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's got better is maybe his suits and his shoes. Probably. I think that... And his his fitness, too. Yeah, he was he's great. yoked. He did. He did a... He's promoting a... Uh, a uh, movie for all of his UFC oh, employees. Yeah. Tim Caviezel, yeah. yeah. And he is, he's literally standing in that he thing. Lean. Polo he looks and, good. Lean. And you see his fucking forearm? Yes. Dude? He looks like he's, he's Popeye. Vascular. He looks good, man. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm like, he told us what he's on. He's on that superhuman stuff. What's it called? The, uh, uh, the 10X stuff? Yeah, who's he working with? 10X. Everybody. Yes. Who's he working with? What's that guy's name? Ooh, I forget. Uh, There's Brecca, a doctor, the Dr. Gary the Brecca. Brecca. There I always talk Brecca. about. And Gary V, too, I think, to keep him sure. yeah. Yeah, motivated. motivated. Look at his fucking... He looks thin, bro. He looks he thin. Very. Living his best life, telling people to go fuck off. Mm -hmm. Oh, who gives a <laughs> shit? Okay? I'm tired of it. Sit on. <laughs> Sit on. Pretty much what he said. Yeah. That person's like, this is a real story. Things are really happening here. That, they're promoting a fight. They can say whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that was kind of how it all went.